I'm Dr. Kapil Vedunone from Kamla Nehru Mahavidya Janakpur. Today we are discussing the uh, important out uh, factors which are affecting the rate of electron transfer reaction in case of outer sphere reaction. And also we are discussing the two electron transfer reactions. Already we have discussed the uh, one electron transfer reaction. And as we know in case of outer sphere reaction, there is a transfer of electron from one metal to another in the complex taking place and there is no any change in the coordination sphere of the complex does not change so the, uh, there is no any alteration but there is a transfer of electron uh, from one to other metal and uh, uh, in this case of the complexes uh, one complex uh, one metal loses electron under oxidation and other metal accept electron under the reduction so what are the factors which are affecting the rate of uh, electron transfer reaction in case of outer sphere and example of uh, two electron transfer reaction that is complementary and non complementary reaction we are discussing in today's part. So the topic is reaction mechanism of transition metal complexes and in this part number 6 we are discussing the factors affecting the rate of outer sphere electron transfer reaction and also we are discussing two electron transfer reaction and in this case the complementary and non complementary reactions of two electron transfer we are discussing in today's part. So, as we know, what are the factors affecting the rate of uh, so, uh, electron transfer reactions in case of outer sphere? And uh, there are five factors which are affecting the rate of uh, rate of the outer sphere reactions. And uh, scientists have given different factors which are affecting the rate of outer sphere electron transfer reaction. And first factor out of uh, these five factors is a uh, electrostatic repulsion between ions like charges. So, if the complex have same charge, then their electrostatic repulsion increases and therefore activation energy uh, then decreases the rate of reaction and therefore this is the first factor also of it, what is known as the electrostatic repulsion between the ion like charges. So, complex have same charge, in that case the electrostatic repulsion increases the activation energy and which then decreases the rate of reaction. So we can say that the rate of outer sphere reaction decreases with the increase of activation energy due to electrostatic repulsion between the ions. Second factor is identity and concentration of cation which is present in the solution. So both are important and which are affecting the rate of reaction. So in case of the uh, in case of electron transfer reaction which depend on the identity and concentration of the cation present in the solution and generally it is observed that increase in concentration of the cation increases the rate of reaction. So increase in the rate of reaction is taking place as the increase in concentration of cation increases the rate of reaction, uh, electron transfer. This is also due to the formation of ion pair which decreases the electrostatic repulsion. So, this is important factor, identity and concentration of cation present in the solution also affect the rate of electron transfer reaction. This is second factor, identity and concentration of cation. Third factor is also very important, conductivity of ligand. As you know, uh, conductivity of ligand is also very important because electron transfer takes place through the bridge ligand or through this ligand and the greater is the conductivity of ligand faster is the electron transfer. The greater the conductivity of the ligand, faster is the electron transfer from one complex to other between the two complex. So unsaturated or conjugated ligand like CN, dipyridine conduct electron rapidly. And uh, for this case we can uh, explain the uh, uh, two form the bridge ligand. Uh, it should contain the two lone pair or one negative charge or one lone pair. As we know, bridge ligand should, the ligand should be like that. It should contain lone pair or one negative charge and the one lone pair. So this is important. So bridge ligand, uh, bridge ligand is an, uh, uh, through this uh, electron transfer is taking place. So here uh, now uh, reactions are example is given and in this example uh, we are considering uh, the reaction and two reactions are shown here in the slide. In the first reaction and the second reaction, the metals are same, only the electron transfer is taking place. But out of these two, one and two, 
the electron transfer in second reaction is taking place first as compared to reaction 1. So, reasons we are discussing here now. So, in the first reaction, chromium 2 plus, this is exa echo chromium 2 plus, uh, and uh, react with the, uh, this chromium 3 plus complex. Here is a uh, thiocyanate, and here uh, phi ammonia. And uh, uh, when these two complexes uh, come close, forming the activated bridge, and here is a removal of water, and instead of that, there is a bridge between NCS ligand. So, this NCS is a bridge ligand between chromium and chromium, chromium 2 plus and chromium 3 plus. And so, there is a bridge and there is a loss of one water. So, this is the I mean 4 plus complex charge. And in this case, now this activated bridge we have taken here. And now, this chromium loses electron and uh, passes to the NCS bridge ligand. And bridge ligand now pass it electron transfer the electron to the chromium 3 plus. So, in this way, electron transfer take place through the bridge ligand or activated ligand and in this case electron transfer taking place and also uh, electron transfer and dissociation is also taking place. So LCS this, uh, this ligand goes with the uh, chromium having 3 plus here H2O5. So uh, it, uh, there is a dissociation and we get chromium 3 plus H2O5 LCS because water one water molecule it loses from this. Um, uh, complex and uh, in place of that NCS camp and here is a chromium 2 plus NS3 5 so electron transfer take place and also dissociation. In the second uh, uh, example uh, in case of second reaction again now same complex is there chromium H2 O6 2 plus and chromium NS3 5 N3 so instead of NCS now we have taken the azide N3 uh, azide ligand and again now when they react and here we get the activated bridge. So N3 azide from this type of uh, conjugated um, bridge between these two metals. So again this is chromium and chromium between these two chromium there is a bridge of N3 ligand, azide ligand and forming this activated bridge. This activated bridge now here we have taken and uh, electron transfer takes place from chromium to bridge ligand N3 and the bridge ligand now transfer electron to the another chromium of the complex and forming against the electron transfer and dissociation and in this case uh, this uh, N3 go with this chromium and dissociation taking place and we get these two complexes so uh, there is a, a dissociation and electron transfer so but in case of uh, complex uh, reaction 2 the electron transfer take place first as compared to reaction 1 so in case of second reaction electron transfer is first as compared to first reaction this is because bridge transition state of second reaction is stable so bridge transition state of the in the second reaction is stable than the first um, uh, here so uh, in this case uh, the, uh, this is because bridge transition state of the second reaction is stable as compared to the first reaction in case of uh, for, uh, in case of first reaction chromium ncs chromium uh, in this case chromium sulfur uh, linkage is weaker as compared to chromium nitrogen in the second reaction whereas chromium nitrogen 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 chromium uh, in the second case azide linkage uh, li uh, uh, bridge is there is more stable uh, due to the resonance. So, this is our conjugated system. So, here is the bri uh, activated bridge. This is the uh, simple and here this is the con because of conjugation and because of the resonance, this uh, activated uh, bridge is a more stable due to the resonance and due to more stable bridge intermediate, electron transfer is fast in the second reaction as compared to first reaction. Some redox reactions are also known in which the multiple bridges are formed and uh, some uh, one reaction is given here. So this is the reaction um, in case of some redox reaction uh, in which the multiple bridges are formed and uh, example of this three oxygen atoms of EDTA act as a bridge. So this is the cobalt complex with EDTA. This is chromium. 2, 3 plus and forming cobalt 2 plus replace and what is now in place of that chromium uh, 3 plus metal line is there. So they, uh, this reaction in which EDTA, oxygen of EDTA act as a bridge. So,
such type of reaction is as possible. So this is the third factor which affects the rate of outer sphere reaction. And the fourth factor is the reorganization of energy. And in this case, faster electron transfer between metal and ligand bond uh, taking place and depends upon the metal ligand bond length, geometry, solvation shell of both uh, and complexes should be similar. Transfer of T2G electron is faster than EG electron. So in this case, transfer of T2G electron is fast as compared to EG electrons. And number 5, free energy change in the reaction. And this is also an important factor. Greater the negative free energy change, then faster is the rate of electron transfer. So this is also important. So these are the 5 factors which are affecting the rate of outer sphere reactions. And after this, next part is the 2 electron transfer reaction. As we know, oxidation is a loss of electron, reduction is a gain of electron. So oxidation is a loss of electron and reduction is a gain of electron. In this case, electron transfer takes place from one metal complex to other metal complex. And due to transfer of electron, oxidation state of metal changes. And during this reaction, one electron can be transferred or two electron can be transferred. So uh, there is a possibility of transfer of one electron or two electron. And the transfer of two electron occurs generally in post transition element. And two electron transfer reaction are two types complementary and non complementary electron transfer reaction. So there are two types of reaction complementary and non complementary electron transfer reaction. And in the what is now the first complementary electron transfer reaction. So we can say that electron transfer. Uh, take place in the reaction and in which the reductant loses the electron and oxidant accept the two electrons. So there is a transfer of two electrons from uh, one species to other and we can say that it means complementary reaction oxidant accept same number of electron as reductant loses and therefore it is known as complementary reaction. So number of electron loses by number of electron loses by reductant is a same number of electron accepted by the oxidant and therefore the reaction is known as complementary reaction and uh, example here, here is given and uh, that is the uh, for example thallium plus uh, is converted to thallium 3 plus in this system aqueous medium is taking place containing the ClO4 minus ion in this reaction two electrons are transferred from thallium plus 1 to thallium 3 plus and two independent reactions occur which are shown here. These are the two reactions which are taking place in this uh, complementary electron transfer reaction. This is thallium H2ON plus it loses electron to electron and this thallium accept to electron. So here is a plus one and here is a two uh, three plus charge. So this two plus one and plus three. So now it becomes three plus and this is become plus one. So, uh, so same number of. So the, it becomes now 3 plus. So by accepting it loses 2 electron become 3 plus and it accept 2 electron become plus 1. So in this way uh, there is a uh, transfer of uh, 2 electron from thallium plus 1 to thallium 3 plus. Another reaction is given of thallium. In this case thallium having plus 1 charge. In this case also uh, this complex loses 2 electron. And in the second case, uh, here n minus 1 and 1 in place of 1 ligand is a OH present in a small quantity and uh, as a, this complex also accept 2 electron and we get because it loses 2 electron become thallium 3 plus and it accept 2 electron become the uh, uh, here uh, is a shear oxidation state because here is a OH minus. So uh, the rate of uh, rate now for these uh, two reactions we can write. So R equals to rate of the reaction equal to K1, thallium plus 1, thallium 3 plus, plus K2, thallium plus 1, thallium 2 plus, OH is there. So in this way other examples are there uh, of tin with thallium, thallium with mercury, vanadium with thallium and uh, these uh, metal ion loses the electrons, two electrons and these accept the two electrons and we get this type of product. So in this way uh, we are obtaining the uh, transfer of two electron from one to other metal can take place. So this is one example of the complementary electron transfer reaction in which two electron transferred from one metal to another species is taking place. And uh, other examples are also given here. So this is first one complementary in which number of electron loss 
by the one matter species is accepted by another species. So there is a two electron transfer reaction which is known as complementary electron transfer reaction. Second is a non-complementary electron transfer reaction. Non-complementary it means that electron transfer reaction in which the number of electron lost by reductant is not equal to the number of electron accepted by oxidant and therefore it is known as non-complementary electron transfer reaction. So number of electron lost by one species is not equal to and the same number of electron not accepted by others. So uh, such type of reaction is known as non-complementary electron transfer reaction. And these reactions generally take place through the multi steps. So here example is given a reaction between oxidant thallium 3 plus and reductant Fe2 plus involve the following steps. So two steps are given, reactions are given and it, uh, re this reaction takes place through the formation of intermediate. So thallium 3 plus, Fe2 plus and this is the uh, rate of the reaction K1 and this uh, rate of the reaction is low and we get thallium 2 plus and Fe3 plus. So thallium 2 plus uh, show the uh, this is the intermediate formation. So there is a uh, loss of here and, and this Fe loses electron and thallium accept electron. It loses and therefore 3 plus charge it accept and therefore 2 plus. This is the intermediate is taken here intermediate uh, thallium 2 plus and again we have the another fresh Fe2 plus aqueous solution and this is the K2 and this is the first reaction and in this case we get thallium plus 1 because it loses elect uh, it again gain electron from this and Fe2 plus loses 1 electron so Fe3 plus and this is thallium plus 1 and so this is the these are the product and overall reaction we can write from this addition of 2 thallium T plus to Fe2 plus and uh, thallium plus and a to Fe3 plus so this is the overall reaction such type of reactions are known as the non-complementary electron transfer reaction. And uh, in this reaction as we have seen, thallium 3 plus convert thallium plus 1. But a reverse reaction can also is there. And uh, in this case, see the thallium 2 plus, this is the intermediate, Fe3 plus and this is K3 another and forming uh, uh, here uh, Fe2 plus, so this loses electron, thallium and this acid electron so Fe2 plus and this is Fe2 plus. So this complete rate expression for these reactions uh, mechanisms are rate equals to K1, K2 are the rate constant for the two, thallium and Fe2 plus are there and K2 uh, divided by K2 and this K3 is shown in this way we can write the rate expression and example, other examples are also given non-complementary reactions. Other example of non-complementary is the thallium plus 1, cobalt 3 plus thallium plus 1, vanadium 4 plus, first is a reductant which loses electron and second is a oxidant which accepts electron. So these are the other two examples of the non-complementary uh, non-complementary reaction or uh, it is also known as non-complementary electron transfer reaction. So these are the other examples. So here uh, these two reactions are important complementary and non-complementary uh, electron transfer reactions are very important from the examination point of view and also uh, here as we have seen today the uh, two important uh, part first of all we have discussed the uh, factors which are affecting the rate of the electron transfer in case of outer sphere reaction and five factors we have seen and first three factors are very important and second uh, we have seen the two electron transfer reaction in which two reactions are there, complementary and non-complementary. So both these uh, reactions are important and uh, in the next part we will discuss uh, some other reactions. So here, uh, here the, uh, we have seen one electron transfer reaction, two electron transfer reaction and complementary non-complementary reactions are important.